Hi, so today we learn how to do this in After Effects in under two minutes using the AI Juice plugin. Let's get started. Yes, so once you have purchased that AI Juice plugin that I was talking about, you open this up and you'll be able to see a lot of different packs and everything. So there are like, I think, 100 plus packs that you can use. I'll walk you through a few of my favorites. There are lots. I can't really cover all of that in the video. So uh, we will actually try and make, recreate one of the sequences that you see in the start of the video that I just created and we will try recreating that. But, but before that, I'll walk you through a few of my favorites. One of my favorite is the digital screen constructor. So I have it op opened over here. So it basically has a lot of screen elements that you can use for uh, videos like a documentary style video. It, 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 it kind of reminds you of how Vox or Johnny Harris makes their video. So if you see, there are lots of buttons. There are headlines of newspapers or online articles. There are headlines with some media like images or videos on in them. There are main screens where you are particularly typing animation. There are photo changing animations with like great transitions. And there are like Google search uh, screens. There are text screens where text is getting highlighted more like a Vox format or the text is changing uh, more like, like this, like the Bitcoin text you see over here. There are tweets and then there are loaders and a lot of other things as well. So I think this is a great, great thing to start off with because I generally need a lot of screen recordings and this really makes that process of easy of making them look really beautiful and not just make that a very basic screen recording that you put in a video. So for this tutorial, I think we have used uh, this text animation here. So I will just double click on it and it will start importing it into my composition. There are two to three other packs that I would like to talk about. There is this light leaks pack, which is really handy. All the kind of light leaks that you have are very easily available here. And these are kind of more like stock videos and not editable footage. So these are kind of like overlays that you can use as transitions and whatnot. Then we come to an history timeline creator, which is a really, really good one. You, you kind of write by looking at it, you see a Vox style documentary style vibe where you show pictures and maybe older documents and all that. So that really works well. The photos, even the photos that normal photos you put in, those are converted to this style of animation and the colors used. So this really helps in making like some like explainer videos or documentaries about history or, and whatnot. I also kind of dig this cyberpunk pack, which uh, basically is a logo pack for a cyberpunk theme. So we have, we use one of these in the in the sequences that we showed in the intro of this video. So we will just double click on it and import this as well. And there is this glitch pack as well, which kind of has a lot of glitch, glitch backgrounds that you can use. There are gl glitch logos where they are great logo animation sequences, which have this glitch, glitch effect. So if you're working with a lot of like your visually heavy music videos or maybe event videos, these are great. And there are some text animations as well. There are overlays. So for the sequence that we are creating, we need an overlay as a transition between the two sequences that we have already added to our composition. So I'll be, I think using this overlay eight here, I'll double click on it and we'll let it add it to the composition and we'll go back to it later. Yeah. So glitch also has like these random glitch effects that you can use all over your composition and then get them done. So yeah, I mean, I think one of the bonus favorite that I could mention is the newspaper constructor. This is also something like you have mostly seen with like explainer videos on YouTube. These are really easy to create this way, easy to edit as well, which I'll show you in a bit. So if you just walk through this, you'll see a lot of like codes, a lot of photos, lots of text animations and a lot of zoom in, zoom out with all the camera blurs and whatever possible. So since we're done with this, we had already added three things to our composition and we'll see how to recreate the intro sequence that you saw. So we have this Bitcoin thing. So since it's already Bitcoin, which I want to do, we'll keep it that way, but I'll show you how it easy it is to edit these things. So if you just, just open this up, you will see there's a control layer 
which has all the controls for the colors that you use the background colors that you need the color filter that you want to use the camera position the text position and whatnot so everything in this composition is customizable and when you click on this text you will see all the text that you see on the screen which looked like an image previously is actually editable text and you can write whatever you like here right so similarly you can just go ahead and see all these texts are editable and that will just let you edit things very easily so there are i think it's changing into a lot of different sequences so for all the sequences you can easily change the text right but we will not do it for this example but you can basically customize everything about this composition so you see that this bitcoin thing is sorted for now we don't want to edit the text for this example and then we have added our glitch video overlay which is right in the middle of both these compositions so this is basically a glitch overlay which just helps us transition between this to this right so this is also fully customizable you can change the angle you can maybe you can also like play with the zoom and the scale of it and then uh, if you see this is our third part of the composition which is basically a cyberpunk logo so here you see that there is a Bitcoin logo that I've already added, but it's very easy to actually change the logo as well. I'll show you th that in a minute, but when you open this composition, you'll see all the controls over here, whatever pixel color logo fill that you want to change. Like for example, if you want to change the logo fill from orange to blue, which will not look very good in this particular one, but I just, for the sake of example, I can show you that if you change it to blue, it changes to blue. I'll get it back to orange. Then there are lots of options that you can explore and play around with and see how it's looking and fine tune it according to your design. So now coming to the customization part, you can go to this logo placeholder, open this up and you'll see this Bitcoin logo placed over here. You can basically place any logo over here. When I started, this came with an AI juice logo and I replaced it with Bitcoin and just it works flawlessly as you can see, right? And it also comes with music. Most of the logo animations and uh, particularly big compositions come with sound effects. And also the pack also includes a few sound effect libraries that you can use for any of your videos. So that's a plus as well. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. The AJU's Black Friday Mega Bundle is currently at sale for $747, whereas the original asking price is $9,914. You get a whooping, whooping discount. And this is an exclusive discount just for Black Friday. So start very soon. Just go ahead and buy this combo. You will get an access to almost 100 plus packs and plugins. You will get access to all of these products included here in this list. Be sure, make sure you go ahead and buy this as soon as you can because this is a limited time offer. And there is an affiliate link in the description of the video. If you use that, you get an additional 10% on that and it also helps the channel. So thank you very much for watching this video. We'll be back to our regular videos very soon. This has been Satyajit. See you in the next one.